U.S. Air Force's AGM-183, an air-launched rapid-response weapon hypersonic missile, or ARRW, has failed. The weapon separated safely from the B-52H bomber carrying it, but the rocket motor did not ignite. This follows the first unsuccessful attempted flight test in April, in which the missile did not even leave the wing of the B-52H it was attached to. The Air Force announced the outcome of the test, which occurred on July 28 over the Point Mugu Sea Range in the Pacific Ocean, off the coast of Southern California today. The service had previously announced that it would conduct this flight test event before the end of July. The 419th Flight Test Squadron at Edwards Air Force Base in California and the Global Power Bomber Combined Test Force participated in this new attempted launch. The missile cleanly separated from the aircraft and successfully demonstrated the full release sequence, including GPS acquisition, umbilical disconnect, and power transfer from the aircraft to the missile, an Air Force press release said. The missile also demonstrated fin operation and day confliction maneuvers, which ensures a safe operation for the aircrew. Following the safe separation maneuvers, the rocket motor did not ignite. The Air Force insists that this abortive launch still provided valuable test data and demonstrated several first-time events as the program continues to track toward fielding a hypersonic capability in the early 2022s. Last week, the service had confirmed to the war zone that the overall test plan had been the same as it had been for the initial failed booster test flight one test, or BTF-1, in April. The BTF-1 test had been intended to focus on validating the performance of the missile's rocket booster and demonstrating the simulated separation of the weapon's unpowered boost glide vehicle payload. The prototype missile would carry a frangible surrogate for that vehicle that would disintegrate after release. The ARW, as designed, is intended to use its rocket booster to accelerate a wedge-shaped unpowered hypersonic boost glide vehicle sitting inside the nosocone on top of the missile and loft it to a desired altitude and speed. Once there, the nose cone breaks away and the vehicle is released, after which it glides along atmospheric flight trajectory at hypersonic velocity toward its target. Hypersonic speeds are defined as anything above Mach 5. The boost glide vehicle is designed to be highly maneuverable, which combined with its speed and flight profile, make it ideal for penetrating through dense enemy air defenses to strike at time-sensitive and other high-value targets. Those performance attributes give opponents less time, overall, to react to the incoming threat, making it extremely difficult for them to relocate assets or otherwise seek shelter.